Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Batman. The Telltale Series, Episode 3. That's got to be Bruce pulling up in that fucking sports car. I can't Mr. say Wade, what it is. Here. I don't know what right it here. is. It is Bruce. Bruce, Bruce. Bring me Harvey Dent. Oh, okay, photos. okay. Pretty sure you have enough photos, guys. Of Bruce Wayne? Never. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <laughs> now, we're Make here a fool out of me, Harvey. Arkham Asylum. We'll fucking say. Ever since it opened its doors... Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Ooh, Alfred, need to talk. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its Ain't security, Alfred. lacking. And worse mm -hmm. still, those who do get out, or God mm -hmm. forbid escape, are even more dangerous than mm -hmm. before they went in. Arkham Asylum mm -hmm. is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens. Gotham. For years to come. That's what Mr. you Wayne say. Has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Sick need a help crime as my parents would be honored. For those with mental health issues, there Sick are no need cuts help. or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. Oh. But inside... They're suffering. That do be true. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. No matter that the cost. Night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide? That's how Bruce gets the bitches. Tells that story. With this facility, now we're looking at our next mayor. Mm, we can Bruce. put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night. We dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. That's a pretty shitty round of applause. I'm, uh, sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. No, we... All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Why did I just Mr. skip Harvey? I didn't push anything. Shut My up. My sources say you welcomed a legend mob boss, Carmine Falcone, into your home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Urgent. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I'm not gonna run away. 
Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, how long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's They're yelling from. the same questions at controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on Answer out. Answer the fucking please, phone, Bruce. Try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh. The police doing inside my fucking ass. You got a warrant? Hey, hey, careful. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. Okay, you got a warrant. Good for you. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's got to be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. You need to be the guy doing your taxes. And what do you expect to find? That's for yeah. our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. Bitch. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Oh. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA is going to hear about this. Well, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Yeah, well, I'm Batman, but that's about it. Why you drop my shit, you prick? It's a picture. Probably of my family. My mum and dad fucking dead and you broke it. Yep. <laughs> to break your face now. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You you don't have to do this. Bruce? Go away, reporter bitch. I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not going to have any for a while. What do you want, Biatch? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. Mm -hmm. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, well. no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. 
Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a think. kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting I for the I think it's crime. Hill the bitch. You're the I first think Carmine's too stupid. List. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. I'm bad. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what <sighs> matters, not wild speculation. Fine, Vicky, you bitch. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. I think you would have said that no matter what I chose. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rowe. Do they? I'm gonna beat Harvey Dent with a stick. Big giant one. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies. <laughs> We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Yes. That's a two-faced move of his. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yep. Bring me Harvey Dent. What? Tell me, bitch. What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. I was going to say there was something Bill else up your ass. Yeah. Like, yeah, then man. the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. But not so Wayne bitch. Industries. Goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this. Moment. I wonder if you can keep Harvey He's from being enemies. what he's supposed to be. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It's got to be politically motivated. Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. This is a new low, even for Hill. Hmm. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It I said not we. be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. What is this bitch got a black eye? Being late. No, no, just glad you made it. She's got a fucking big old black eye. Oh! Is that Selena Cole? When I punched her straight in her fucking. You didn't tell me you were bringing a. Usa! This is Selena. Oh! I hope Steph. I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. Well, I'm gonna be brave. Met before. You do look familiar. Mm. Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. So is that yeah. Shauna in your eye? Pleasure to meet you, Miss. Kyle. Selena. It's a strong grip you've got there. Yep. Don't Saved worry. your ass. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, oh she sorry. knows. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, 
Oh yeah, I'm going straight for it. Fuck it. One of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? That's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? Straight up. I was mugged. Sure you were. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Oh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. Mm. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Oh, now we can talk hey, Frank. It's Harvey. She knows, and I know. I wish one of the options was you, bitch. I should have let you fall. Nice to meet the real you. Keep quiet, boy. Oh, yeah, I should say it to her. Likewise. Shut your face, woman. Oh, this explains a lot, actually. Eye. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> oh. Not to mention hmm. everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I don't need one. I do this... because I can. And I thought you were on some noble crusade against crime. Yeah, I chose the wrong so answer there. Me. I should have chose... I need to... You have something that belongs to me. Fuck. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. Oh. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. Oh, you fuck if they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. Nope. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. You're just you going to have me. to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. You better. Punk ass. Sorry, but I've got to run. <clears throat> now so I'm gonna have to do some quick events. Are you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? 
<laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Shut up. Why are you going to say that as I'm walking away, huh? You can take a pot shot. I got you a drive. I was just going to give it up to you. I punched you in the eye for that drive. I'm just going to say, oh, yeah, have a bat. I'm Alfred, Batman. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Oh, those guys are fucked up. They're dead already. They're gonna try and frame me. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Exploded human remains. Remains. <laughs> remains. Remains. Items can be linked to. Why can't I read that? Items tagged with. Uh, what? Oh, can be linked. Man, I must be so tired. Link. Scorch marks. Obliterated human remains. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I just don't remember being able to walk so freely on the other ones. Maybe I'll I've seen wrong. these outfits before. Yeah, these are the guys Some I fought. That broke into City Hall. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. No, it wouldn't have, Alfred. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Canisters of what, indeed? It's a copper it's a shop. Cop. The force grows thinner every day. Hmm, what if it's a real cop? Something was here when the explosion occurred. Like a van or something. Someone truck. drove off after the explosion. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Maybe they're trying to frame Falcone too. Okay, so I've linked that to that. What else? 
else can I link to it? Dead mercenary. That bad? Ooh. His face face smashed. Off. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Let's look in his pocket. Skylight Club. Cop's got his face burnt. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? A nerve agent could make them psychotic. Oh, what am I linking your incendiary round to? Incendiary round. Hmm. I figured it should be close to wherever he is. Can't link it anywhere. Oh, I'll open here. Nike's canister fragment. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal yep. bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Incendiary round. It's linked to old mate over here with his exploded head. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men got them down. 
then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. I was going to end the episode there, but I might as well just do this part quickly. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. First shot. your corpse to this graveyard. Belconi, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. Punch him. Fuck yeah. I don't fuck around as Batman. I ain't telling you jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. No. <laughs> it's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Whatever it takes to make you talk. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Oof. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. I ain't scared of you, man. Yep. You're gonna hit me. Hit me. I'll hit the barrels then. Tell me. The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. We had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Malconi wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> Yep. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. Oh, I'm a fucking vicious kind of Batman. Fuck it. A weapon. I don't know. Falcone said he'd use him soon. Used where? I'll play it a bit more aggressive I this game, I think. I Fuck you. You'll never hold a gun steady again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These are cops. 
Should I talk to Gordon or disappear? Send the cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. I'm out. Talk to him later. I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance too. What the hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? Batman. Ooh. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Lieutenant Gordon noted your violence. Ah, fuck it. That's where we're going to finish this episode. Woo! And that was a bit longer. Listen to this wonderful music. What I'm going to say is... This game is good! Fuck shit up with Batman. But... I'm, I'm very biased. <clears throat> you put me in the driver's seat of a Batman game or an Iron Man game, I'm going to find every reason in the world to love it, even if it's not good. But it just so happens that this one is really good. And it's not just me saying it. The reviews say it as well. Telltale make a good game. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff that you would do if you like something on YouTube. If you didn't like it, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. I really will. If you want to see some live gameplay, twitch.tv forward slash the no good game where I stream Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays. We do horror games, multiplayer games and community games on Sunday. Jackbox, 18 plus, super fun. You can also follow me on Instagram at the no good game. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Well, I won't see you. You'll see me on the next one. Mm -hmm.